Hi everyone, welcome to new video from Not Real Engineering. And in this video, we are going to see thermomechanical analysis in Abacus CIE. We are going to solve example of bimetallic strip, which is also known as electric brakes. The working principle of this bimetallic strip is shown over here. And it is actually pretty simple. As name suggests, it will have two different metal strips joined together and one electric connection will be provided over here and another over here. So when these strips are connected to this connection, the electricity will flow like this. Now one metal strip will have low coefficient of thermal expansion and another metal strip will have high coefficient of thermal expansion. Therefore, when this entire assembly is heated, the bottom plate will try to expand more than top plate. And because of that, these strips undergo bending and they will deflect up like this. And when this happens, the contact between strip and one connection point is broken. Therefore, electricity doesn't flow anymore. And that's how it works as electric brakes. This is very robust and reliable. Therefore, you can find these type of bimetallic strips in many applications such as irons or thermostats. In this tutorial, we are going to solve exactly the same example. This is the geometry of our model. We are going to consider two metal strips. One is made from brass plate and another from iron plate. These strips are fixed on the left side and free on the right side. You can see the dimensions of plates are given over here. And we are going to create these two plates by partition. So we'll create one single part and then we'll partition it like this. Of course, you can create two separate parts and then maybe use tie constraint over here to join them together. It will give similar results, but partition works best. Therefore, I'm using partition. The material properties are given over here. Iron has 200 gigapascal Young's modulus 0.3 poisons ratio and coefficient of thermal expansion is 12. And in case of brass, the coefficient of thermal expansion is 19. Therefore, brass has much higher coefficient of thermal expansion. So as you can guess, when this entire assembly is heated, these plates will bend downwards. We will define initial temperature of this assembly as 300 Kelvin and then we will increase it up to 600 Kelvin. Let's start with Abacus CIE. First, set your working directory and then create part. I'm going to name it as strip, 2D part, deformable shell, approximate size. I'm going to keep 20, continue. Then we'll create one rectangle and then adjust the sides of rectangle. This will be two and this as 20. Say done. The strip is ready. Now we have to partition it at the center. For that, use this partition face by sketch command. Then you just have to sketch one line at the center and set done. Now you have two strips connected to each other. Then go to property. Let's create material number one. Let's say iron. Here we have to define elastic properties. Young's modulus is 200 gigapascal and Poisson's ratio is 0.3. I am using by the way mega pascal millimeter unit set. Then to define coefficient of thermal expansion, you have to go again in mechanical and go in this expansion. Here you can define coefficient of thermal expansion as 12. We are going to keep it as isotropic, but you have option to choose it as anisotropic as well. Or you can use this subroutine user expansion where you can define your own expansion coefficients as well. Say OK. Create another material which is brass. Again, first elastic properties. Young's modulus is 100 gigapascal. Poison's ratio is 0.33. Again, in mechanical expansion and coefficient of thermal expansion is 19. Say OK. Create section. I'm going to name section as well as iron. Select material iron. Then create another section. Brass. Select brass. Then assign section. The top one is brass and the bottom one is iron. Done. Next go to assembly, create one instance, then go to step, create just static general step. You don't have to change this. Say continue. As this is a very simple problem, you don't have to change anything over here. Say OK. Then go to load. Over here we are going to fix the left end. I'm going to use this displacement and this left end, both edges, upper strip as well as lower strip and u1, u2 equal to zero. Now to apply temperature, we have to go in this step, go in this initial and double click on this predefined field. Here you have to choose other and over here temperature. Say continue. 
select entire domain say ok and here you have to set magnitude initially we are going to set it to 300 say ok then expand on this step 1 over here you can see that predefined field is propagated from initial step double click on this change the status to modified and apply over here 600 amplitude you can keep ramp doesn't matter say ok now next is meshing let's go to mesh first going to part i'm going to use structured mesh for that go into mesh control select whole domain and say structured then let's set element type again whole domain and i'm using standard linear plane stress elements say ok then seed the part let's see how is one maybe refine it 0 0.2 okay and mesh it finally go to job create a job let's name it biometallic strip say continue okay and submit the job job is done what did we say about the strips they will bend upward or downward let's see brass is on the top iron is on the bottom which means they should bend downward let's see if they bend downward indeed they do and stresses are almost uniform only some stress concentration over here you can animate it in time as well and that's it for this video if you are interested in learning abacus more you can check out this channel there are many other videos about abacus all the codes which i use on this channel are also uploaded on channel's github profile you can directly download them from here and the link of github profile is included in the description box below if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching